This is ye German truck, not your truck. I must say your truck. You're not tired to rest now. But I'm tired to rest, not tired. All right, let's get a trailer and uh, uh, let's transport it. I'm doing this at basically the most inconvenient time possible for me. It's like when I'm extremely fucking tired. So it's either going to lead to a terrible video or a great video. I'm not sure which. Every time I play this game, I have to think for a second. Left or right side, left or right side of the road. And it's like, this one is right. It's hard to remember with all the games. I just think trucks. And I'm like, okay, which truck game is this? Okay, this one is... Euro truck, or this one is UK truck, this one's 18, it's just, I've got mail? Oh, I heard a crash, oh well, I got mail, man, fuck that, where's my notebook? Mail, how are you? Remember your old friend, how are you doing? I just heard that you started working as a trucker, just like me, cool, good luck, if you like, I could introduce you to another fellow driver later. And I can't do anything about it. It's just a message. So I don't know how to respond with this email stuff. I just got it popping up to me. Yeah, whatever. My son set this up. Uh, he said it's called Pop5 or Pop10 email. He said my email provider sucks. It doesn't even support EMAP or something like that. I don't understand this whole email business. I don't know. Why can't I email people back? I won't be able to email people saying like, fuck you, I don't give a fuck about none. I'm a trucker, give me that money. Right, which way am I going here? Alright, I gotta take the uh, blinkers, man. I'll use them sometimes. And I'll use the wrong one. I think I hit the wrong one. I wasn't really paying attention, but I'm pretty sure I did. Oh well, I tried my best. Accelerate. Accelerate. No power. I haven't seen a single car on the road yet. I wonder if the game's glitching. I haven't seen any. I mean, what time is it? Oh, it's five. I guess if the t if the if the game bases like how many people are on the road based on the time of day. Yeah, how many people are gonna be driving at six a.m. You know that is kind of that's kind of out there. I mean, well, no, it, I guess. No, 6 a.m.'s commute time for at least some people I know, actually. I don't know. I mean, maybe it's uh something to do with German culture. And yeah, there's some traffic. Alright, so there's traffic. It's just it wasn't here. Now it is, so. Alright, so how far do I have to go on this road? Alright, I gotta go... Actually, it's just the next. No, not. Well, when I see a big intersection, I'll look at the map probably. That's all I gotta think. Because when I see the big intersection, I'll just be like, "Do I turn off here?" And I'll bring it up, and I'll be like, "Oh yeah, no, I turn at the next one." Because I highly doubt. Uh, how highly doubt I will remember. Like I said, recording this is such an odd time. I am kind of like in a dazed uh, mood type thing. I'm just. I don't even know what I'm talking about half the time. This is those words just fall out my mouth, and I gotta try to pick them up, but it's too late. The microphone grabs them, and uh, well, you get this crazy ass stupid shit. Well, I'm talking about who knows what. I'm talking about not how. I'm talking about how I'm not talking about nothing, and that's what this whole video is gonna be about: is how little I'm talking about, or how much I'm talking about so much about nothing, or something crazy like that. Like I don't know. What is it to talk about? Hmm. Let's see. I could talk about what I did today. I spent all day trying to get a window share to properly function, and it would not function. I just never figured it out. I gotta get over though. It was quite disappointing. I could not get it to work, and I was—I really wanted it to work. So I was trying to get some old computer parts smashed together to make a cheap ass uh, HTPC whatever the fuck they're called those little computers you use for streaming movies and shit recording and whatever I don't watch movies really but it wasn't for me it was for my family and shit cause I'm like man I'm such a fucking terrible son I don't do nothing for you I'm gonna do this for you cause I got some spare parts I failed at that totally 
So yeah, that was great. Like I know how I could get it working, but I couldn't at the same time. It's weird. I couldn't find anything that could help me. It was half the problem was I was like trying to fucking. I spent half the time trying to make a portable installation of Windows XP on the USB drive because I don't have any extra hard drives. Because I use them all for Fraps footage and Audacity audio recording for these things. So I was like, alright, how the fuck do I do this? So I was like, alright, this is the PE Builder and all that shit. And Barge PE Builder. I went through all that. Got, had to, you know, it took a while. I got it slipstreamed with the SP3. I had like, I had it mostly working, I would think. And then it just, it didn't work out. A couple hours down. Just wasted. Totally wasted. Whole day was a waste, really. Like, I didn't get to record any videos at all. I'm going to just do these as, like, a daily or whenever I feel like log of what I did. Because that's really all I could talk about in these things. I mean, what am I going to say? Okay, I'm accelerating. Accelerating. Turning right. Accelerating. Turning right. Turning right. Still accelerating. Turning right. Turning right. Turning right. Turning right. Turning right. Turning left. Turning right. Can I do a drift? Can I do a... Oh, I'll just crash. I remember when I tried that in the uh, UK truck simulator. Let's drift. Crash. Let's not drift. And let's make money. I like money. How do I know how much gas I have? You know what? Just for shits and giggles, I'm going to fill up on gas because I don't know how to read it. I'm assuming it's that bar on the basically the middle of the screen, but I'm not positive. Because... I want to say that's related to deliveries more so than anything else. Well, if I go to this view, is there anything? No. I'm just going to try to get gas and see what happens. If, it's, if I remember correctly, the trucking company pays for gas, so I really just like, oh, whatever, free gas. I'll watch that middle bar, see if it moves at all. And just pulling in. How far do I have to pull up? All right. Oh, stop the engine, gas up. I don't see anything changing. I did just blow a uh, five hundred dollars though. Uh, I don't. What's the? Is it? Oh, I should have paid attention to the dials. I wonder if one of the dials actually changes. Is there anything in here that would? No, not really. Who knows? Oh well, we're good to go. Man. I, I like that this is a real truck company. I didn't know that when I picked it. I was just like, oh, that's a good name. But then I learned this is a real truck company. That make, oh, that's a good truck company. I mean, I don't know. It's just like, truck companies have good names, really. Like, besides the ones who make trucks and cars, like Mercedes, I think, does. And that's all I really know who does. I think does. Uh, but they have cool names for truck companies like Man, Mac, Peterbilt. They, I, that's all I know. The ones I do know, though, they got cool names. That's the equivalent of saying car companies got cool names. They got Ferrari, Lamborghini. You know, that's all I know. <laughs> that's like the equivalent of just saying that, probably. It's like, oh, they also got all these boring ass names. And, you know, who knows? Probably so many boringly named ones. Uh, oh well. Ooh, I know something I did today that was actually an accomplishment. I fixed my car horn. I don't know how I did it though. Because literally it wasn't working yesterday. And I'm just driving along and out of boredom I start smashing my hands on it. Because it's like I'm bored sitting at a signal. And then it honks. Person in front of me is just like, what the fuck? This guy's a fucking retard. The light's red. And I'm just like, hey! I'm just like fucking freaking out. Like, holy shit, I fixed my horn. I don't know why I just started working. That was funny. Uh, anyways, we got a turn here. I'm gonna go ahead and just go right. So I was happy about that. That means I could, uh, finally say that nothing in my car is broken. Like, everything works. Well, batteries should be replaced but fuck it it's close enough it still starts up every time except once in which case I was sad 
but I think that was just because I was fucking with the radio because I was trying to replace it and stuff. As far as I'm concerned, that's what the cause was. And uh, let's see, which way am I going here? I go straight and I'll go around. So, it's funny on the map, these turns look like very, very sharp. It's like, it's a, you know, a 70 degree angle, maybe 80, I don't know. It's a rough estimate on this one. And then another one that's pretty steep. And then it looks like you're going to, like, it looks like you end up going this way, northward. But no, you keep turning, and now by the time, like, look how off I am on the map. It looks like I'm totally just off-roading the way they're designed. See, I'm curious again, because I don't know enough about German culture. Is this just, like, the map designers? Like, this is more of a, a symbol for a, uh, 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 just a wide churn. They use kind of like a triangular shape. If so, that's really, really strange, but, you know, whatever. I'm sure there's some stranger things with American maps if every, like, i never even seen a map from another country before, honestly, so. Again, I am not the person to know this stuff. It's just the idle curiosity of an idiot. Am I going the right way? I just checked. Of course I am. I am, right? I didn't even look that time. I freaked out. Okay, yes, this is the right way. It's deceiving. We're going back again. It's deceiving because you see some red right here. It looks like you're supposed to, like, turn off or something. But it looks like I'll just keep going straight. And then I'll get to where I want to go. I honestly want to know, though. What does that bar in the middle, like, the, about the middle of my screen mean? The one that has the red, orange, and yellow. I have no idea what it means. Only thing I know is I need. I wish I knew how much gas I had again. Because these two gauges work, I'm assuming the gas one would too, but I'm not positive. Which gives me another idle curiosity. In most racing games, they actually model the uh, RPM gauge and the miles per hour gauges. I wonder how many of them uh, actually model the other gauges. Like oil pressure actually goes up and down depending on you know how you're driving it and stuff. And like the clock on this is actually modeled. I'm assuming the temperature is actually modeled because it matches the styling of the clock. But I wonder how many games like how much they actually do. Like if I was to, I think, yeah, if I had the radio set up, you know, I play in songs in here. I wonder if they'd show up in that little thing. It'd be cool if they did, but I just, you know, I wonder if they would. I should just go through some, through some of the racing games I have and check that out. The biggest factor is what games actually simulate gas, because that's one of the ones I'm more, that'll be more easy to like probably look at and be able to say for sure like this is being modeled or not because you just drive around for a half hour in most games you'll be going like 200 miles per hour half the time so you'll run out of gas pretty fast and then you look and see you know but like thinking of games that actually do that there's not that many besides racing sims like the sports racing games like need for speed well not shift shift I think all the races are too small for them to model gas actually now that I think about it but then you got like most wanted and all those older ones. Those ones wouldn't model it because, well, they they're sport racing more, and they got like test drive, which is an open world one, but they don't model that. I think they should though in the next one. I don't know. All I know is Forza or Forza Horizon is just gonna fucking. As far as I know, from what I've seen, there's not a lot been released, but it looks like Forza Horizon is just gonna destroy test drive unlimited to. I mean, if they want to stay in the market, they got to bring something huge for three. Otherwise, Forza Horizons just got that market. And speaking of racing games, I was uh, poking around uh, Dirt Showdown some. Uh, it's interesting. It took the parts I cared about least of Dirt and put them in a game. Well, I guess that's not entirely true. Like, it took the parts where in Dirt it was like, yeah, that's fun. But let me get back to the rally. And I made the whole game out of that. So it's like, there's uh, the figure eight racing, more normalish racing. That's more like Jim Naka, whatever the fuck that's called. I don't know how to pronounce it, honestly, because I, I can't think. Like right now, like I said, I'm all fucked up in the head right now. But it has that plus, uh, it has that plus uh, figure eights, 
like not figure eights but more complex things where it's it overlaps like three times in one course or some crazy shit so there's even more likelihood of crashes and then you got destruction derby which there hasn't been a real destruction derby game in a while i mean like flat out i guess had it but flat out sucked recently all right do i turn off here nope keep going really the flat out man they are they've really just mm, mm. Flat out was, I loved the earlier flat out games. Like it had those mini games and shit where it'd be like go to the football stadium, you'd be all swerving in between football players and you launch your guy through a fucking goal post. That was that was fun. I like played the shit out of that. Then the last one came out, I made a video for it. It was just like uh, it was by a different developer, I remember. So that really affected it, I'm pretty sure. Just having a different developer, just it changes games, you know? The only one who's able to do that somewhat seamlessly has been Call of Duty, and that's really because, as far as I'm concerned, that's pretty formula-based. So you could just say, you know, as long as you pretty much follow this formula, it'll pretty much feel the same. I mean, it does feel different, though. Like, the whole... I don't play Call of Duty much. I really, as stupid as it sounds, I play it for the single player. I never play them online. It's just like, I don't want to level up for the guns. I don't want to buy them either if they do offer, like, DLC packs to buy them. I don't want to do that either. When I play games, I just want to be able to hop in and kick some ass and be done with it. Which is pretty much why I dropped TF2. I played it for the longest time and be like, I play it. I played it when they had it where it was like, you got the achievements for it because those are like balanced i felt enough where well no they, actually half the time they were overpowered being honest when the medic ones came out they were overpowered but i played the i liked it they just they added so many weapons and shit that i just was like you know what no it's it's too much just i can't stand having so many weapons to try to like deal with here it's trying to deal with 20 different rocket launchers on the soldier, 50 different melee things for the demo man. It's just like, ah, uh, no. No, no, no. And then I pretty much quit playing. I used to I used to be part of a sh pretty strong community of TF2 players. Had two servers, at, had two servers at different times. It was like one died and then a new one came up. And that one died. And they died. I think I don't know what happened to them. I lost contact. I really have been terrible about that kind of stuff. Alright, which way do I go here? I go straight. Uh, this is going to be great. Okay, here we go. Perfect. Alright. Now we're going nice and straight. But yeah, I totally lost in touch with them. They're good people. I should, feel, I should go check see how they're doing. I have their vent info stuff. So I should just pop in. Hi guys, how you doing? I'm like, what the fuck? You're back. And I'll be like, yeah. Speaking of which, you know, fucking, I was down and in in that Counter Strike stuff too. What well, before I was in TF2 as much as I was, and I was not as much, I guess. Well, previously, I was really into Counter Strike. Where I'd be like, let's do tournaments, tournaments, cups, whatever the fuck, leagues, doing all that shit. I sucked. My team always carried me. And then, like, I would just do... I was the most... Worst, best Counter-Strike player ever. Like, I would just be like, 0-5. And, and I'd be like... I'd have to be clutching it. And then all of a sudden, I'd kill them. I'd just fucking ace them all. And just be like, how the fuck? I wouldn't even know. I'd just be like... I'd be just laughing because of how good I did. Just, I think that was a problem, though. I would stress out. And when I'm like, when I get one kill, and I get another, and it's all on me... After the first few kills, I just stop stressing. I'm just laughing like a maniac, and I'm killing them. I went the right way, right? I'm all... Oops. Oh, shit. Okay, here we go. We got this. Don't damage the cargo. Don't damage the cargo. Don't damage... The... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, shit, I'm stuck. Hmm. Kind of strike distracted me. Um. Right. 
I could de detach the trailer, move a bit, and reattach it, maybe? Just bring it down the hill slowly. How's this working out? How's the trailer holding up? Eh, could go better. Oh. There we go. Uh, it's scraping a bit. Uh, I got stuck again. Now it's just getting pulled along naturally. This is going great. Don't mind me, traffic. I'm just, uh... I don't know what I'm doing. I'm gonna get out of this eventually. I swear. I don't need to call SOS. I'm dedicated to this thing. Oh, come on. I heard something. Right, so I gotta rotate. I just gotta rotate slowly. Alright, got some rotation. Then when I go forward, I end up going the wrong direction some. Forward. Let's just really get my angle straightened out. Wait, come on. Yes, yes, yes. Come on. I got it. Hell yeah. That took forever. Still though, relaxing. I don't. I mean, this game's relaxing. Maybe it's because I'm so out of it anyway. But I'm relaxed. It's like the most stressful I've ever been in this game. It's more of a, how long will this take? I have seven hours left to make this delivery, you guys. More than enough time. I still worried. I didn't really pay attention. I was just like, oh, I gotta deliver this eventually. Let's cut that guy off. Hey, it looks like they actually slow down when you use your blinker. I wonder if they really do. Better test it. When that guy's about to pass me, I'm going to just use my blinker. Like, hey, man, I got to go in this lane. See if they, uh... I can't drive at this view at all, though. I'm just going to swerve into the lane. That'll slow them down. All right. They're not even catching up, so you know what? I'll just watch my mirror. It works good enough. Not as ideal to be able to tell, but... Oh, well, they, what? They're not even keeping up. That's abnormal. Usually they're faster than me, aren't they? I don't recall ever really outrunning anybody. Oh, there we go. It was way too late by the time I was like, oh shit, they're coming up because I was looking at the road at that time. So I'm not really looking at both. It's like a back and forth. All right, there's a guy coming. They do stop. Oh, that's, that's cool. I'm an asshole to that poor guy, but that's cool. All right, watch. See, he slows down. Oh, that is cool. I wonder if that means if they're about to pass you, if they'll speed up. Like, motherfucker, I'm coming over. He's like, oh, shit, better speed up. I don't know. I doubt they'd actually do that. But uh, it's cool that they actually slow down. I like that feature. I'm going to go ahead and get into that lane if it's clear. It looks clear. Really, I don't even have to check my mirror as much. It seems like if I, uh, if I blinker and wait maybe about three sec or if I signal, I should say, uh, and I wait about three seconds, anybody who's next to me will have passed, and anybody behind me will have slowed down, it seems like. So I don't even have to check my mirrors, just look forward, and good luck, everybody else. I'm the only one who has anything to lose, though, that's a problem. If they hit me, doesn't matter. They have, ins they have AI insurance, artificial intelligence insurance, automatically repairs their car, no problems. Me, I got nothing. I guess I do got uh, my employer to pay for my truck repairs, but if my cargo gets damaged, that's all on me, and I lose money, and it's all bad. Can't have none of that. Be all bad. Let's see. Is there anything else I could talk about? Um... We talk about how I was so good at Counter Strike and so bad at the same time. Yeah. I get stressed out when I play video games, I swear. If I ever try to play anything online, it's just like. 
I have a bad habit of always wanting to be the best at anything I do. Like it's just I, that's just me. If I'm gonna do something, I'm I'm gonna be like fucking magnificent at it. I'm not gonna do no half ass. I'm gonna be fucking just. It's gonna be. I'm gonna be on it no matter what. Like and this, like this is a bad example of it though because this is literally. I have time. I can do this. Where most things in life, it's like. I make time for this. This is one of the few things I don't make time for. It's like, oh, I have time. Let's let's go. That's why it's so sporadic of like, oh, no uploads for a week. Oh, 50 videos in a week. Uh, oh, I don't know. I really am just like that, though. Like, everything else I do, it's like, I got to be the best at it. It's like, fuck. I'm like, I'm like the most unathletic looking guy you'll ever see. But it's like, I play tennis in high school. It's like, I got to be the fucking best at this. And I was, I was pretty damn good. You know, I was maybe not the best honestly just because like what would happen is I'd be the best and then 10 minutes later I'm out of breath so then I'd be the worst no not the worst but I'd be like like in those 10 minutes before I'm out of breath I'd be I would be like on par with our varsity team's first person but then after I'm out of breath it's like oh fuck I'm barely I'm barely hanging on with the people who are just lower varsity teammates is you know it's i'm i'm the best at it until i get tired but everything it's i'm like that i don't know why and that's what stresses me out it's like man i'm not in the top score there's a game it's the, and it doesn't feel good it's like how, i mean i either think i just gotta always think how can i get some more points or how can i it's either i play for points or i play for like helping like if I'm playing for points, it's like, I gotta be the top scorer. But then there's other times where it's like, you know what? I don't have to be the top scorer. I'm just gonna help. So a bad example, going back to TF2, or a good example is going back to TF2, which is a bad thing to do because I already talked about TF2 and we're off of that, I thought. But no, we're back. A good example is this, is either I'm playing TF2 and it's like, I'm fucking murdering every single person I can just for the points, mostly. It's like, anything I can do, I can do it for points. I don't even care about anything. It's like, if I'm not in the top score, I'll fucking find the cheapest way to get points. Go just do spy or sniper and get double points for backstab, one and a half for headshots. It's just whatever I can to just abuse the point system I would do just to be on top. And then other times it would be like, you know what? I'm going to be helpful. And it's just like, I don't give a shit. I just like fucking never touch the scoreboard. And it's like, I'm going to be helpful. And I'm like, oh, fucking let's build sentry and be helpful teleporters most i was actually whenever i do that i just fucking do teleporters and dispensers and be like battle engineer time i, I was fucking i was half helpful uh not full helpful let's see keep going straight <gasps> that guy's gonna come on oh i want to beat him he's moving though that's uphill and he's just moving i wish i had a truck that powerful like he's just the second he's on here he's almost going as fast as me i want to i want to overtake him though He's, he's, no, he's gone. He's gone, man. Alright. Let's see if my idea works. Don't even have to check my mirrors. It does. Magnificent. Alright. Well, I don't know why I'm like this. Always gotta be the best. I just, I am like that. I am way too competitive. That's what brings out the best in me, though. That's the oddest thing, like. Uh, it says when I am competitive, I will fuck you up in nearly anything. Seems like it's just when I have such like a competitive spirit to me. It's just like well, that's just the way I am, though. Like in like bowling, for example, is another sport I played. Big difference from tennis, but uh, like when I play alone, it's like oh, I'm okay. I get you know 170s, and it's like it's like my teammates there, and it's like oh fuck, it's all motherfucker. We be bowling like. We'd be bowling near 300s. We'd be bowling like, bowling like 250 to 280s, you know, which is only a strike or two off from a 300, which is just crazy. But we on, we on, but it's just like, and then I'm like, oh, fuck, I can relax. And this is like, I'm barely touching 200s half the time. It's the weirdest thing. Same thing about, like, just video games, too. Another thing I'm thinking of is, uh, I don't play video games on, uh, I mean, I don't play FPS games on consoles. Like, the only thing I play on my console is Forza. And that's because there's nothing comparable to that. Aside from Gran Turismo series. 
but nothing comparable to it on the play, on the PC that can touch it really in terms of the car selection and the customization nothing and I'm getting tired uh, I could probably finish the delivery spent a bit too much time getting stuck like an idiot I should be able to do it but yeah always gotta be the best like, even in Forza it's like that game I play mostly to relax and even then it's like I'm gonna get the fucking top 100 in this leaderboard because I fucking can I've never gotten a number one I'm not that good at it but it's just after enough pushing myself I'll be like top 100 in, in the rivals at least for a little bit and usually I'll get bumped down a bunch and I'll be like fuck no and I'll try as hard as I can and I'll only be able to get like top 150 I'll be pissed off even though I shouldn't be because that's still fucking great <laughs> I mean that's still like the top 1% which is as far as I'm concerned that's fucking great especially considering I almost always tune my own cars and of course I'm always driving my own cars but very rare the only time I really use a tune is for drifts because I can't tune a drift car for shit I just can't actually I'll stay in this lane I'm going the right way, right? Man, this is a while away. I'll make good money on this. I better. I really don't know if I'll make this, though. I only have four hours. Oh, four hours is more. I thought it was three for a second. I saw the fifth. I saw it almost reaching 15, and I thought that was 18, but that's 1857. So, in reality, I have four hours. I was thinking closer to three, so that's good. Hey, working windmills. That's neat. I like those windmill designs. Better than the new ones that we have around here in California. California, we got these new ones. There's these really long bladed ones. and I don't know. They don't look as cool. I, I mean, <laughs> it's like, that's stupid, right? It, it doesn't look as cool. You know what? Fuck the uh, hundreds of hundreds of thousands of dollars of electricity that'll be uh, created and the money saved. Let's, let's keep the old ones. They look better. You know, it's just, yeah, they won't. But I like the way the old ones look. It's just the way I am. I like the way old things look, even even if they're older than me. This is like, I am against change, even when I didn't even know there was something to be changing. This is like, this is like my car. It's like, you know what? I want a fucking car from the 80s. Mostly because that's all I could afford. But then it's like, how, how obscure can this car be? It's like, I can get something with a rotary engine. And that's how I got an RX-7. Nine hundred dollars later, there's my RX-7. That car's great. That car's been great. Lots of people have horror stories about those kinds of cars, but mine's been great. Knock on wood, right? No fucking. So next episode, my car broke down. I need to fucking rebuild the engine. Thousand two hundred dollars because of shit. I hope not. I really hope not. Uh, man, my throat. I should, I should really just fucking drink my drink, but it's just like, oh, that sounds weird on microphone. I don't know if I should. And so then you got me in talking in a gravelier voice than I usually would because my throat's getting drier and drier. And because I don't shut up in this game because it's, it's not like in a normal game where it's like I'm gonna concentrate and I gotta be quiet. For, where it's like, all right, I'm gonna do this shit. Gotta concentrate. Gotta be shut my mouth. Get this shit done. For me, it's for this game. It's like there's nothing about it where besides maybe moving the trailer those few feet to fix it there's nothing about this game that makes me go I gotta really fucking which is why I love the games because they are just relaxing as hell that's why I want Forza Horizon though it's mostly just the relaxing driving a little more aimless but still it'll it'll do me good cause I don't relax enough in my life like I'm always I gotta be doing something I gotta be doing something I gotta be doing something even if it's literally got to be playing video games to be recording. That's the bad thing, though. It's like, I've really... It's like, now... Am I going the right way? Yeah, okay. Just making sure. I thought it was this way, but I wasn't positive. But that's a bad thing. Like, when I feel like really getting into this channel, because this is, like, the timing, it's like, I'm going to get into it, really push myself, get some shit out. I don't play any other video games, really, half the time. Like, I play them just to know about them, and that's, like, it. Like, Dirt, I was talking about it. I played maybe for, like, a half hour. I was like, all right, I get this game, and uh, I'll come back to it eventually. Well, you know, but I probably won't. I have uh, hundreds of games, almost maybe a hundred actually, not hundreds, but almost a hundred games on Steam where I thought the same thing. I'll come back to it eventually. 
Eventually. Maybe that's what I should do. Every uh, week, I randomly pick a game from Steam, and I'll just like, oh, let's 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 just, let's play this over the week or something. I don't know. Uh, then I don't have a chance to blow my money on stupid shit like uh, simulators and all. I really shouldn't be doing that anymore, though. Unless I'd be able to make the money back in ads, which I don't. I mean, I make about half what I spend it back. So, it could definitely be worse, I guess, but... So the only reason I really have ads is because it costs so much to be buying all these stupid-ass games. Especially when half of them don't work because of fucking Star Force and shit like that. That's what I should do. I should go back to that portable edition of Windows I was working on and rebuild it for, like, get the uh, options and shit that I'd want, the plugins or whatever is what they're called in the program, that I'd want for this computer and just use it for recording things only and just star force the fuck out of that thing. And the best part is, is, like, most games, you know, star force is on it. Oh, don't worry. I know that shady ass motherfucking site that got some cracks and shit, you know. That removes Star Force. Like, I played Toka a while ago. I was like, eh, this has the word simulator in it. I played that game a long time ago. I had it on the consoles. Uh, but I remembered it and it was quite fun. And I was like, I had this game before. And it was f so I figured I'd pick it up and play it. And I was like, oh, can't run it on this. And, oh, it got a crack. DRM, you know, the, the point of DRM is to reduce no because DRM made me have to pirate it so I had to I don't know that's the worst though I mean like I am totally fine with DRM when it doesn't fuck you over like if you want to have some protection in your game go ahead but after a year or two just take it off take it off you know what or maybe after it's been sufficiently cracked and spread take it off just Take it off eventually. That's all I want. I don't want it to always be there because DRM is the hugest incompatibility I have with video games. Like, normally most video games still work. I could get them running through DOSBox or something. But, but I guess, no. I should slow down a bit. I'm kind of speeding. Uh, but there's DRM, but there's also 16 bit. They mostly work through virtual machines, but, uh,. It's hard to say. Right, I'm dazing and, or dozing and it's a churn, so I'm just going to slam on my brakes. I just don't want to make this delivery before I fall asleep. Possibly in real life, too. All right, let's just... I should have... Oh, fuck. $400. And they drove off. Is it a hit and run if I hit them and they run away? You know, I'm going to save because I'm not positive on the laws in Germany. But, uh, laws in America say I could take a right turn right now. Okay. That's why I saved. We'll go ahead and reload that. Oh, man, $400, though. I might just cheat that in. No, I won't. I won't. That's just That's just against the spirit of things, but... Why is this light even red? There's nobody around. And my truck's totally turned off. By the time it gets turned on, it's going to be red again. Alright, so I'll have to make a turn on the next one, I guess. Assuming I may... Oh, wait. No, no, no. Is it at the light? Yeah, it's at the light. And of course, it's red. For what cars? That's something a lot of video games do, I think, though. I don't know. Maybe not that many, but it seems like a lot of video games just have their lights on a timer. They don't actually base it on traffic. Where in real life, at least I'm fairly certain, they're based on traffic flow and such. And that's, you know, makes them more dynamic, I guess, and work better. Hypothetically, at least. I know I'm tired, I just want to get this delivery done, okay? I mean, where am I going to sleep anyways? If I slept, I'd, I wouldn't be able to make this delivery, you know. I don't know how they expect you to really do this. My light's green and I can't turn. I wonder what they really expect you to do for this one. I mean, I slept right before I started it and then you don't have enough time to sleep mid-mission. Or mid-delivery, I should say. Alright, what time is it? 
a 17, yeah. I mean, it's not like I even took the maximum amount of time. I got two hours left. That's not enough to sleep, but there's a lot of time left. Alright, where am I? Alright, this is going too Ooh. steep. I really gotta straighten out. Well, actually, I gotta do more than straighten out. Oh god, yeah, fall asleep right now. That's great. I haven't touched anything because I'm too afraid to do anything. Alright, perfect. I fell asleep and I woke up and my trail is perfect. Well, I made a thousand dollars in the end, I guess. Alright, I got a new level, but I'm gonna probably lose it because of the crash. Oh, I didn't. Alright, level two. Alright, I've delivered three undamaged in a row. Alright, that's alright. Completing my first day? Wouldn't that be last day? Or second day, I should say? Not. I don't know. Uh, tomorrow between six and nine. Six and nine. Yeah, I got time to sleep. I'm gonna go and sleep. Where's the sleeping place? Thank God I got a sleeper. I th I want to say there was a mechanic in some of the older games where it's, you either have a truck with a sleeper and you can sleep in these places, like pretty much wherever, to some extent. And the other ones, you if you had a truck without a sleeper, you had to fucking find hotels, and that was fun. Barely any hotels around. All right, so until next time, this has been uh, YBR rambling about everything and nothing at the same time. See ya.